During the 2008 season, Rovers looked like relegation certainties after dismissing previous manager Paul Ince midway through the season. So they opted for an experienced, no-nonsense manager in Sam Allardyce to try and revive the club before the inevitable relegation. This move proved to be successful as not only did Allardyce pull Rovers clear of the drop zone, but in the next few seasons, Fat Sam managed to work his wonders and with his long ball football and shrewd business acumen, Rovers were a safe top 10 Premier League team once again. However, despite Sam's progress as manager, there were dark clouds looming above Ewood Park. That's right, Venkis. Rovers were taken over by the chicken men from India and Doomsday was among us. The axe fell on Sam's head from 100 feet high and the rest is a bitter footballing tragedy that we are all well aware of. What if Sam had a change of heart and decided to work with these mad men one more time? What would Allardyce do on his return to Ewood Park? Can he get Rovers back to the championship at the first attempt? Let's see, shall we? Hello folks, welcome back to another Football Manager 2018 experiment in regards to Blackburn Rovers. And in this episode, we are going to simulate 2017-2018 season, but with Fat Sam in charge. That's right, the ex-England international manager albeit for one game, uh, will be in charge of Blackburn. It's just, it's just like Venkis didn't even sack him. It's just like, just, just, we just imagine the last seven or eight years never happened and he is still in charge. Obviously, we wouldn't be in this position if he was still in charge. But let's just see how well he would cope in League One uh, and in managerial control of Blackburn. So first and foremost, let's just bring him up so you can take a look at what I'm talking about. Um, so here he is. Pretty phenomenal statistics. Uh, especially in this division, 62 years of old. He's not really got time on his side, but, uh, you know, one final hurrah for Blackburn Rovers. Here he is, uh, the man in charge. So we're going to simulate, we're going to go to the end of the season and just take a look at how well uh, Blackburn Rovers performed with Fat Sam in charge. And also, uh, just see how well he works alongside Venkis one more time. So here we are, folks, at the end of the season, 31st of May, 2018. And uh, just a quick glance over here in the uh, job zone. Looks like Paul Cook didn't do the business for Wigan. So that makes this a little bit more interesting. But anyway, let's take a look at how Blackburn Rovers fared with uh, Sam Allardyce in charge. So you're going to see instantly. Boom, look at that. Top of the pops. So it looks like Sam Allardyce did the business for Blackburn Rovers, getting us over the line uh, and promoted. So let's just take a look at how well he did uh, with the boys, Whoa. just just about enough, 83 points, so let me just scribble that down, played 46 games, won 25 of them, drew 8, lost 13, goal difference of 24, and 83 points, now, it's good, you know, he's, he, he's done what he was brought in to do, and get Blackburn Rovers promoted, and also with the title, but... That is actually one of the worst performances uh, by a manager in this experiment. So only, only the only person who did worse than him at this moment is Paul Lambert, who only managed to get 72 points and didn't even make the playoffs. But anyway, let's take a look at Sam Allardyce, Blackburn Rovers. Let's take a look at his transfer business. A bit more active than some of the other players, and some familiar names have cropped up. Victor Anichibi, once again, brought in, this time by Sam Allardyce. Um, not bad return as well obviously getting themselves promoted I think he was brought in by Lambert um, but he's scored five goals looks like he's been playing more of a winger uh, Conco brought in from somebody uh, was it free transfer yeah from Atlanta Syria A or Syria A should I say Cameron Buffett Jackson was brought in pretty much uh, ever present in the squad uh, Eddie in Kithith from Arsenal, striker. How did he fare? Six goals for Rovers. And Kyle Walker Peters on loan, right back uh, from Tottenham. So let's take a look at how the boys did. Uh, Charlie Mulgrew, 50 appearances for Rovers. Tops the pops. Bradley Dack in there second with 46 starts. Elliot Bennett, 45. Cameron Boffick Jackson gets in there with uh, 45. And Richie Smallwood in fifth place. With 44 appearances as four goals. Bradley Dack, it's not bad. Not not really. I mean, when I say not bad, it's pretty bad statistics overall. He tops the goal scorers charts with 11 goals. Eddie Bennett's there with nine in second. Adam Armstrong's in third with eight. Danny Graham's in fourth with eight. Or joint third, whatever you want to look at it. And Victor Nietzsche 
brought in. Oh, he's got seven goals. As for the assists, two guys with 10. Buddy Dak and Elliot Bennett with 10. Uh, Richie Small, Charlie Mulgrew with six. And Harry Chapman with five. Best player, Jason Lautweiler. That is, that is the first... Name first time I've seen his name crop up. Eddie Nikitaya has in second with uh, 7.15. Elliot Bennett third, 7.13. Charlie Morgrew fourth, 7.12. And Paul Downing is in there, joint fifth with DG on 7.03. How do they those tallies rank in the amongst the rest of the league? One. So top goal scorer Charlie White, 22 goals. Paddy Madden once again is in there, 20 goals. Ewan Doyle's in third, 19 goals. Agon Mahemeti, 17 goals. And Jack Marriott in fifth, 16 goals. The Blackburn Rovers player, highest. They don't even feature in the top 20. That's that's how that's how horrific it was. There might be some reasoning to that. You know, the way maybe that's the way um, Sam Allardyce plays his football. Anyway, let's take a look at that best average player. Rhys James tops the tally with 7.23 for Wigan. Paddy Madden second with 7.20. Uh, Sean Bolger is in there. Third, 7.19. Rory McCaldy. McCaddle, McCardle, 7.15, and Josh Timmon, once again, 7.15. Now, if you've not been following this season, this series, uh, Josh Timmon's always in there. So if you are playing a League 1 save or maybe even League 2 and you can try and get a low knee, he seems to be the player to do it. Charlie Mulgrew, the highest Blackburn Rovers player. He's in 7th place with 7.14. As for assists, I can always, I can always, I'm always having trouble. Finding assists. There he is. Chucks Anike is there. Top the pops with 14 assists. Uh, Carl Dempsey, second, 12. Matt Grimes, ex-rover, in there with uh, third. 11 assists. John Taylor, also 11. Cameron Brannigan is also in 11. Highest rover. Not in the top 20. See... Pretty, pretty woeful statistics for Rovers. Anyway, let's take a look at around the footballing uh, world. When I say that, I mean England. Don't don't get any sneak peeks. But anyway, Man City top the table in the in, in English Premier Division uh, with 90 points. Manchester United in second. Chelsea are in third. Uh, Burnley, 15th. That's the worst I think I've seen them thus far. Relegated West Ham, Leicester and West Brom. How about the Championship? Let's take a look. Looks like Wolves top the pops with 83 points. Middlesbrough are in second. And Villa join them with 76 points. As for relegated Barnsley, Sheffield United and Burton are going to League One. As for League One, we saw that. Blackburn was top the pops with 83 points. Southend are in second with 81. Oxford squeezed in in third uh, via the playoffs. Uh, 79 point tally. Um, as for dropping down, Berry, FC Wimbledon, Rochdale and Bristol Rovers are playing League Two football next season. As for League Two, uh, Knox County, Colchester and Cambridge return. Or they, well, they might not have returned. But anyway, they are in League One next season. Exeter will join them via the playoffs. And Newport and Accrington are relegated. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, let's go back up one division there and uh, summarize this uh, experiment. So, even with Fat Sam in charge, Blackburn Rovers, they managed to do the deal albeit probably on a pretty pretty boring scale when you look at the goal-scoring tallies for some of the players. But they did enough. However, on the grand scheme of things, when you compare Allardyce to the rest of the managers thus far in the experiment, pretty piss-poor performance. Only only Paul Lambert has got worse score with 72 points. Um, so where does he rank? Currently, he ranks... Uh, second bottom of the table uh, but anyway so in the next episode we will be looking at Paul Ince that's right guys do you, do you guys remember Paul Ince being in charge it was horrific it was a horrific period um, again when you have to follow a good manager such as I think it was Mark Hughes before him uh, you know, you gotta you got to have your shit together. But Paul Lentz was horrific. But how well would he do with Blackburn Rovers this time out? So uh, join me in the next episode where we'll do a simulation with him in charge. <laughs>